Hello and welcome, Shady's back, and today I'm gonna talk about the newest skin in the game, the AK-74 and Midas. I think it's Midas, right? It's not Midas, it's Midas. And, uh, you know, the price of it, the look and feel of it, and how I was performing with this skin. I'm gonna cut it short because I realize that you guys aren't really interested in skin related videos. We creators sometimes get an opportunity to try the skin. We get a trial version of it, so it's not permanent. I don't own this skin. However, I would like to. I would like to because AK-74N is one of my favorite assault rifles. Don't ask me why. I mean, I know the why. I felt like in the past that it's pretty budget. It's affordable. I could buy myself an AK-74N for 30,000 or 35,000 eventually with a scope, but it has changed. Nowadays, an AK-74N, a modded version of it, costs me approximately 55,000 or even 60,000. So I'm kind of hesitating because I think for that price, we have better guns. Anyways, the skin itself, I think it looks dope. I like it, um, but I, I also know that many of you are not gonna like it because when Arena Breakout started with this whole realistic military FPS hardcore shooter game thing, um, we all wanted it to be realistic. But at the same time, we knew that skins are gonna come. Skins are needed in the mobile games. Otherwise, it's not profitable for the game development companies. It's not like the core income, but it adds on top. So we're gonna we're gonna have skins. That's that that's just the nature of you know mobile games. If you want like a fully free mobile game, then don't expect anything like Arena Breakout. And you know you can play an indie game for free, but not this one. But it, it, even in indie games, you 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 have to pay something. And there were comments saying that we don't want anything like we have in Call of Duty, where everything is pink and shiny and blue and whatnot. I actually don't have a big issue with that and I see it coming. So the more skins we have in the game, the more fancy they are, the more glowy, the more shiny. I think the weapons are gonna stay realistic, but they're gonna be still very colorful. I mean that in a way that maybe we're gonna have like glossy skins or shiny ones or even pink ones, but we're not going to have like smoke coming out of the weapons or fire or any any fancy stuff that you know adds some kind of animation to it because that would be beyond realistic my biggest issue with the skin is still the price so it costs more than 200 usds 200 dollars and uh i i cannot even say that it's a tiny bit too much i think fifty dollars or something like that that's that's kind of the maximum what i would pay for real money to get this skin and even for that price many of you would say that it's still too expensive but 200 dollars for that price i am holding my red magic here uh, it cost me i don't know 650 euros or something like that i know it's far away but for three skins in the game i can buy myself a gaming phone so i think it's a bit not a bit, why am I keep saying that? It's not a bit expensive, it's absolutely freaking expensive, which makes me makes me a bit sad because many of you would want these skins, but I think you guys already gave up. Based on the comments, you feel like, yeah, there's yet another skin, but I don't care because I'm not gonna buy it anyways. And I understand you. Now that we discussed the price of it, the look and feel of it, and kind of skins in general, I want to share how I was performing with it because I was expecting that, you know, I'm just going to do my stuff on TV station Northridge and this skin brought me terrible luck. I kept dying. I'm not even sure if I extracted one single time with this skin. I was playing Northridge, like running to the hotel and then trying to clear the hotel and then extract. Then it didn't work. I lost like five games in a row or something like that. Then I switched to TV station. I was unlucky again on TV station as well. Then I switched back to Northridge and then, you know, I, I, I died again. And I'm, I, I, I mean, it, it's obviously not the skin or the gun, but it makes me think that maybe we got to the point in season five where the players are skilled enough to make it almost impossible to play solo in arena breakout. And I'm telling you that because I had games where 
I was performing okay, but then I got overwhelmed by a chat team. I also had moments in Northridge where I felt safe and somebody was sneaking up on me. It happened actually two times that I was looting and there was absolute silence and somebody was like, like creep walking, not, not even creep walking, like crouching and that ghost crawling or whatever it's called. And I just died. I had that on TV station as well and I had it on Northridge as well. Then I had a game where I was standing at the end of the corridor. So if you are standing on the second floor at the reception on Northridge in the hotel, you can kind of see the end of the corridor. I was standing at the end of it. My teammate was asking for help and I was like running over that bridge. I was speaking one single time, like for one second, and that guy had a lucky shot. He didn't even know that I died because he didn't loot my body. I was spectating my teammate for a long time and I think he just didn't realize that I died. So I had like, like unlucky moments with the skin. And uh, I don't know, for me, the skin just didn't work. I got to the point where I decided that I'm going to put AK-74N aside. I'm going to play with other guns because in season four, it worked for me. I had multiple videos playing with this gun, but in this season, it just doesn't work. And if this losing streak continues for me, then I need to come up with something because I'm not that good to wipe the full lobbies every single time. It sometimes happens, but in most cases I do one kill or two kills, but if there's a third guy or a fourth guy, I usually die. Or maybe I can kill the first squad and then the second squad arrives and they kill me. So. If that continues, I need to come up with something. Maybe I'm going to play less solo. Maybe I'm going to play less in general and try to like join lobbies or join friends or join other streamers or join whoever or you know find somebody who can carry me. Because these last 10 or 15 games with the AK-74N, it was just simply terrible. And now I need a winning streak. I just need it because my confidence level is, is no, below, below the surface. And I'm telling you that after I won 25 games in Team Deathmatch. And in Team Deathmatch, I was performing really well, but that's different. I explained that in the other video, why it's different. If, if you want, you can watch that. But AK-74N skin, I like it. The price, I hate the price. AK-74N gun, I'm disappointed because I felt like it was better. I mean, the price of it. And for the for that price, I was playing with a, with a semi-decent gun. Now that's no longer the case. So it costs me 60,000 or something. And my performance with this gun and the skin over the last couple of games, it just makes me cry. So this is what it is. We have ups and downs. We have good moments or good sessions or good phases in the game. For me, this was terrible, but I'm sure it's not about my skill or the way I play the game. It's going to change. It's going to become good again. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my opinion about AK-74N with the skin and the gun itself. Happy gaming, shoot, loot, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Shady out. Bye.